Is uh, Taru here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. She, that HP. Cool, cool. Okay. Your, your Everybody radar. Radar, radar. Yes. Can, you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me clearly? Just curious. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Cool. Can you hear okay. me clearly? Why yes. am my kids having problems? Yeah, so I'm clear. Yeah, yeah you're, you're clear, clear for now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. Yep. When we last left our adventuring party, you guys were beset by a ship full of, which I can tell you now, uh, 20 frost giants as they were attacking the town of Fireshear. Um, you guys managed to defeat three of them, however, at the cost of Epley's life. Yeah. Feeling things, were hope feeling things were hopeless, you ran for your lives. Which is a completely understandable thing you can do. Um, and as you guys were traveling your way away from Fireshire, watching the destruction of the, of, the, of the town behind you, you were met by a frost giant named Harshnag, along with his um, elven companion, um, Idril. Yeah. He mentioned the fact that he's looking... He, he's pretty much on the same mission as all of you. However, like all of you, he also lacks clarity in the situation as well. So his plan is to go to the Eye of the Allfather, which is a temple that he, is, that he knows of, where he plans to consult with the Oracle to discover what needs to be done or what, what the next step of the plan should be. Mm -hmm. um, and you all agreed to join him on this endeavor. And you guys began to journey your way towards the Eye of the Allfather, led by Hashnag himself. As you were traveling, you were beset upon by a ancient white dragon who landed before all of you, told you to kneel. And when you did, they just opened their mouth and let out their frosty breath, which did significant damage to most of you. As it, it just laughed and flew away. Now, all of you are extremely wounded. Harshnag took zero damage because he's a frost giant. Um, but uh, you, guys, you guys don't have a name yet, right? So, adventurers, um, the day is yours. What would you like to do? We're continuing on our journey to the Aura uh, Okay. Do, do we think, did, should we stop? and figure out a way to heal first. Yeah. Uh, you can take a short rest. Yeah, short, rest. short rest sounds nice. good. Yep. Okay. So yeah. you all find a little spot to sit down. Hashtag's going to keep watch for you guys as he's going to just patrol around. He walks away from all of you. He's like, uh, you all look a little fucked up. Uh, rest, I will take care. And he just you know, starts walking around, keeping an eye on things. Is there anything anyone would like to do during their short rest? Or should we just fast forward to the end? I'm uh, going to use my hit test. Yeah, me too. And okay, I so... am going to use um, Song of Rest. So everyone who uses a hit die will get an extra d6 of uh, health. Okay, so quick thing. So first things first. When I say, are you going to do anything? Uh, that's before you roll hit dice. Oh, okay. okay. You, you, roll, you roll hit dice at the end, end of, of the your short rest. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So, is there anything anyone would like to do before the end of the short rest, or should I just fast forward to the end of the short rest? You Guys, not anything in particular? I'm just gonna sit and meditate near the trees. Okay. Okay. So, fast forward then. You can go ahead and fast forward. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, whoever wants to may roll hit dice now. Roll as many as you want. And um, he so the extra d6 he said right also. Yeah. So, roll as much as you need and then add the d6 at the end of it. Inspiration comes back. Wow. Okay. So, I use three hit die. Okay. I'm gonna roll the d6. Yay, that's, that's nice. 
Just, it's just a D6, right? You don't get anything extra, no? That's just D6. Just a D6. Uh, D6. Uh, the D6, anyone who rolled a hit die can... Yep. Yes. Roll. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Well, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Roll me a six. Okay, four is fine enough. Yeah, I'm good and as well. During the short rest while we're like sitting around, I feel my spells rearranged now. Like, oh shit, I have a complete different I have a different spell as well. <laughs> oh I need to roll I need to roll for DJ, I forgot about that. Yeah, roll for DJ please. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Ah, hey! Finally. So wait, that's uh, 8, oh, I 19. Forgot, I, forgot, I, I, said... forgot to do some, I forgot to cast the cure wounds before the short rest. Because I get my spell slots back after. Yeah, well. Oh, well. Too okay. late. Uh, I remember every every short rest. I have any, any yeah. spells remember it. Just, remember like, it. Dump, I'll just dump cure wounds <laughs> into people. And cool, cool. Get them back. Oh, that's fine. Oh, my Oof. God. The D6 is there still. Yeah. God. Three ones. 11. Actually, yeah, that, br side, that, brings him, that brings him back to max. I rolled two ones as well, so. <laughs> Happens. Okay. So, uh, Avadon's back to full health. Although, looking a little worse for wear. He's, take, he's got quite a couple of bruises and cuts, but he's okay. Oh, and he gets his channel divinity back as well. Okay, so. As you guys continue your journey, uh, someone roll someone roll a d20 for me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna roll the gun check. Four. So close. Well, well, the last time we got a twenty, it was like true, it was true. Guy, I said, so I think this is good or bad. Actually, I have no. Let's see. Hmm. Could it be anything. Uh, roll one d four for me, Lavinia. Okay. Three crack that's I'm going to guess. So um, give me I mean so give me a matching order. Uh, Harsh will be going up front. Uh, Harsh up front. Next one. Um, it will. Behind Harshnag. Okay. And then uh, I guess Bell and TJ in the center and me at the back. Lavinia, where are you, sorry? Uh, next to Harsh. Okay. Uh, then Bell in the middle with TJ and, and, uh, yeah, Avid and Mayor bringing the rail. Yeah, okay. Mayor at the back. Cool. That's fine. Uh, da -da 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 Let me quickly. Okay. Da So, um, who, so Lavinia, since you're walking up front with uh, Harshnag, um, give me a perception check with advantage. Can he take the advantage? What? Can he take the perception with advantage? Yeah, yeah it's. He said it. Was. No, I mean, he's. I'm, I'm asking you to roll because he's going. He's gonna help you. So, Seventeen. Okay. As you guys are walking up ahead, Lavinia, you notice two familiar creatures. They look like oh. those creatures. You, 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 they, you, they look like one of those centipede creatures you met before. They haven't noticed you guys yet. What would you like to do? Uh, when you say familiar, are they? Friendly, familiar? Are they? No, uh, they're, they're the fire breathing. The things were immune to fire, and they explode on death, and they they hit really hard too. Right. I'm going uh, to cast bless. I... I'm casting bless on me, Idril, and Dust. Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay. So you're casting bless. So wait. So who who has bless? Sorry. Me, Idril, and Dust. 
Okay. So, Idril, you are blessed. Gaspar, you are blessed and you are blessing yourself. How okay. far are they? Ah, uh, they are a good 100 feet away. I think we should try to go by them without, uh, you know, agonizing them. Around? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, I have Obviously, a spell that I can use that might help us pass without a trace. Yeah, we can go past without trace. Yeah. yeah. Pass without a trace. Uh, sorry. Adds ten to a stealth check. Stealth. Yeah. yeah. So okay. if you guys are planning to sneak around, everyone roll stealth checks for me and add ten to your number. Shall we? So stealth check. So you're just stealthing? But yeah, I just we are. Fast. Okay. Twenty-four. Wow, he didn't roll shit, bro. It's because he didn't roll. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <sighs> so, 24, 22, 22, 31, 28. Like and the, the harsh nugs. What's yeah, 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 he's rolled for harsh nugs. Well, one sec. I need to double check something as well. Uh, do, 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 do. I forgot to pull up his goddamn sheet. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can't remember how long last only lasts for one minute. Just for a minute, yep. If we sneak past, then it's fine. Ooh, Harshnak does not have a good dex. Uh, uh, 20 though. Uh, oh, 20 for him. Uh, Lance, yeah, do you mind possible. putting up bless on the chat just so I can see it? It, it gives you, it adds a d4 to your attack rolls and saving throws. Oh, okay. uh, well, it doesn't matter anyway, so this works fast. So, all you guys, are is, you, you guys are planning to sneak around. Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay. So, and as you... Bless, I, as you, Sorry? Gone. Bless okay, is gone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this point, Bless is gone. Yes, this is true. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, mark off that spell slot as well. Yeah. So, as you guys are trying to skirt around these uh, creatures, you suddenly see one of them look to you, or to all of you, in your direction. And suddenly they both start scurrying towards you guys. God. I'm I'm gonna need all of you to roll for initiative. Give <sighs> me a second. Okay. Even okay, if we I'm, try I'm going to write stuff. that down, they can somehow see invisible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, write it down, write it down. Sorry guys, try my best. It's okay. Good idea. Um, Good ideas. Always work. Oh I ro I didn't roll like super high for Hold that's on. Hello. Problem. I rolled super high, as usual. Your dex is high. True. True. Oh, not 20 on his dex. On his initiative, but still. Whose initiative? Harsh Knight. Oh, oh nice. mad. You rolled a 90 minus 1. Is that everybody? Uh, uh, have you rolled for I've oh, done. I've TJ, done. yeah. Oh, I keep Indeed. forgetting to do that, yeah. Okay, Take one or two times. Yeah, that's fine. Also, uh, can you change your this thing? The bell? The bottom? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> keep getting confused. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I need to change it on roll 20 overall. Yeah. I just miss bell, like, looking at her, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so top of the initiative, Gaspar. Uh, crossbow, sorry, short bow to the one that's closest to me. All right, hold to hit. Uh, no sneak attack, no advantage. Okay. 20 does hit, roll damage. Man. Ooh, of damage. Nice. Okay, whatever. And then, as 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 they are rushing towards you, Meher pulls out his bow, takes the shot, hits it in the face, and it just goes starts hissing at all of you. Anything else for your turn? I'm gonna disengage and I'm gonna move there. Okay, cool. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right. It's gonna go to Harsh Nag's turn. Uh, he is going to. He knows these creatures, so he's just going to pick up a rock and yeet it at the closest one. Uh, roll to hit. That definitely hits. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's cool. We're about to find out. 
Where's my other D10? Oh, there we go. You know, it's so much fun when the frost drives. Four, six, fifteen, sixteen. Twenty-two points of damage to this as a rock just collides into it. Nice. And it 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 looks hurt. It's starting to look quite hurt. Oh, that'll be the end of his turn. Idril. Um so bonus action, I'm gonna use Hunter's mark on this one. The one in front. Is it close enough to you? Yes it is. Yeah, go for it. And uh and so then I'm gonna use wait. Do I have to roll for Hunter's Mark? No. No, no. right? Yeah. No. And then I'm going to use my longbow. All right. Three attacks. Go for it. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> roll yeah, damage. Guys. Roll damage. Roll damage. Oh, my God. Yes. So that's uh, 17, hey. 18... 29 points of damage <laughs> on the first attack. Wait, 28, no? Is uh, it 28? No, it's 29. Oh, 29, 28, 29. 28. Sorry, sorry, 29. Yeah, you're yeah, right. You're right. My, bad. my bad, my bad. That's 22 plus... That's 30, right? Wait, no. no it's, it's 29. 29. It's 29. 29. 29. 29, yeah. Oh, that's your first attack. Go for it. Okay. How's it looking? Fucked up. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> solid. Hits. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh. 20. 20 points of damage. And Red Ambusher and this shot, you add a D8 to the end of it. Oh, yeah, let's go. Sharpshooter doesn't double when threat, right? No, no, no. It's always always a plus 10. No, I mean, you no, got one more shot left. Shot. And then, oh. then you, if only if it hits, do you add an extra D8. Oh, right. Sorry. Your, your Dread Ambusher shot. Oh, right. Oh, Ooh, no. unfortunately, that one misses. That's okay. okay. Um, anything else for your turn? Uh, no, I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna maintain this position. Uh, okay. It then goes to this one's turn. Uh, one is it that? is yeah. going to... Disappear. You see it dig into the ground. What? Oh, no. Oh, nigs. Okay, cool. Uh, and then... Da, 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 da. Bell's turn. Okay, the end of last one's turn goes to Bell. Your turn. I'm going to cast Enlarge Reduce on the, the other one. And I'm going to reduce it. Okay. Um, what's the save? Uh, con save DC 15. Okay. Uh, huh. Rolled a natural 19, so succeeds. Damn. Okay. That's your action. Anything else? Uh, bonus action, I am going to give Lavinia uh, the an inspiration die. Okay. Then you can add a d8. D6, d8? D8. 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 Okay. It goes to this one's... Uh, uh, is that your turn? I am going to move around and stand behind uh, Hashnag. Okay. Go for it. This one too disappears as it burrows into the ground. Ooh. Are we out of initiative? You don't know. No, of course not. Okay, let's see. It then goes to Avedon. He's like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> um, he will. <coughs> Where they go? Where they go? <laughs> This is good. He is going to hold Guiding Bolt for the first enemy he sees. Uh, it then goes to Lavinia, your turn. I thought, I, these things hurt you when you touch them, so I'm going to use my action to change my weapon into a weapon. So that has some reach. Okay. So can, uh, but, so but, 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 but damage is 1d4, just so you're aware. Well, I'm not getting damage. I, I can smite with whips, right? Like, even if I'm just... It's a good question. Let me let me see the... Let me understand this. Whip 5e. What is the... Information? I, I can't, because it only says melee weapon. I can reach. E yeah. 
Rich is still a melee attack, so I now have a... No, I know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a martial melee weapon, so you can smite on it, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's go. Yeah. It's a sword. It's a... As long as, as long as it's a melee attack, which a whip is, then yeah, you can actually uh, smite on it. That is my action. Okay. Gaspar, goes to your turn. Uh, uh, you, you can't see them. Yeah. You know where they are. Can I see? Uh, is there anything around me that I can I can I look for something around me? Like what I are you looking for? Anything like trees or like? Okay, we, okay. Like, Tell me what you're looking for and the purpose of looking for it. What do you want to do? I want to camouflage into it so that I can attack from a hidden area. Mm. Right. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. Okay. So um, there are some trees around which you can potentially hide behind. Yes. Okay. Which area, where where exactly where can you mark on the map? Where? I'll say here. There's a tree right there that you can probably hide behind. I if can't you want. see where you marked. I'm pinging. Oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. I'm on the wrong, wrong layer. Here. Ha. Huh. Okay. So then I will uh, stealth. I will go and camouflage myself with the trees. Okay. So, great. so okay. To get to the tree and roll stealth for me. With the uh, advantage because of my cloak. Of course. Yep. Okay. You feel sufficiently hidden. Right. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait, and see. that's it. Uh, that's yeah, it. That's the end of my turn. Yeah. Um, it then goes to Harshnag's turn. He's going to pick up another rock and hold it for, for the first enemy he sees. Yep. Um, Idril, your turn. Um, is it possible because I have like uh, all this knowledge of, of nature and the land? Can I like maybe like put an ear to the ground type thing to see hear it or like feel vibrations under and see what direction they're moving in? Like, are they coming towards us or away? based off of the vibrations of their movement underneath. Give me a perception check. Although this I will see will take your action to do so. Okay. Survival. No, perception. You're trying, you're trying, to, you're trying to feel in here. Okay, okay. Sorry. Not nature. My my love of the mm. ground, earth, mother earth, all that. No? <laughs> <laughs> Just that I check. It's 24. Hey. As you put your ear to the ground, you have no idea what you're listening for. <laughs> Vibrations. Which direction they're moving in? Are they strong, you know, close to us? Or you're not sure. You're, you're not sure. <laughs> okay. Good. Anything else for your turn? No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold my position. Yeah, okay. Uh, then... And maybe just keep my arrow. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he's gonna do that. Bell, your turn. I am. Honestly, I have no idea what to do. I, 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 at this point, I think they've like gotten scared and they've run away from us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just gonna. You're gonna watch on. And then I see. And then I see. Uh, Idril putting her ear to the ground and I do the same thing. Thinking it's some sort of a celebratory move. Oh, okay. Cool. Sure. <laughs> That's fine. <coughs> then goes to this guy's turn. Uh, he is going to... Yeah. Um... Fuck. Idril, what's your AC? Uh, 15. Okay. Ooh, that just hits you. Uh. So, as you are, as you keep your head to the ground, you suddenly feel this thing bite into your face. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I really thought you were going to do that last turn. <laughs> as you take... Uh, 15... 17, 21 points of piercing damage, plus um, 11 points of fire damage. Oh, oh my. As the creature pops up. At this point, anyone with held actions gets to attack. So that would be Avedon, but he'll attack with disadvantage first, because melee. Yeah. Uh, disadvantage to hit. What's his attack? It's plus seven. That still hits. Not bad. Fucking hell. 
that's 4d6 radiant damage. 4d6 radiant. Nice. Yeah, guiding bolt, dude. Clerics are broken. Six, Ooh. seven, thirteen. Yep, thirteen points of. Oh, how does how how does Avida want to do this? <laughs> I guess he sees uh, this creature coming up and biting Idril in the face. Mm-hmm. So he straight up guiding bolts him, trying to okay. push the creature away, and it just disintegrates. <laughs> Okay, so Idril, you feel this thing's jaw around your head uh, as it chomps into you, as it bursts out of the ground, nearly pulling you up into the air. Abaddon sees this, immediately releases his guiding bolt, and it just severs this thing's head from its body as the head is still stuck on your head, but you're down on the ground. I would <laughs> say you are prone because of this. Um, I... And, I, and also, I need to make a concentration check to maintain um, bless to maintain your hunter's mark. Ooh. All right. Okay. Uh, was, was Hunter's Mark on this guy or the other guy? This guy. Oh, okay. So, Constitution save? Yes. Yep, you maintain no problem, but this guy this guy is now dead. But this is the guy who had Hunter's Mark on him, right? Yeah, so okay. he's dead. So he can move it. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can move it as a bonus. Okay, action. that's the end of his turn. Uh, Abaddon is like, oh, fuck. Uh, he's going to reach over and cast Cure Wounds on you. Um, the, the, the Idril. Idril. So, sorry, Id- Idril, yeah. He's going to cast it at uh, second level. Oh, fuck. Dropping my... Fuck. God damn it. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping my dice. We need a dice box. No, I, I, I have, I'm holding it in my hand and I completely forgot about that. Yeah, so you heal for... Uh, nine plus. Hold on, let me make sure I get this correctly. There it is. He picked up the lucky feet. Okay. He has lucky and he never ever used it. Uh, so you heal for an extra four points on top of that. So all in total, thirteen points of healing you get. Yeah. Thank you. Mark off a first level spell slot and a second level spell slot. Say it as I try the head off of my face. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's Avedon's turn. He already cast a spell. Oh, yeah, that's really good. satisfying, like, pop. Like when you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it then goes, Lavinia, your turn. Remember, they can somehow see through... They saw through our stuff earlier. I, I, I try to look over like whatever mm-hmm. like, remember that they can somehow see through our spell right and I'm going to ready going to ready tall the dead one of them pops up I'm going to cast okay it then goes to Mehe your turn well at this point I don't see anything okay and so I just scream out to everyone to be more perceptive <laughs> and they, all they hear is me saying be more perceptive <laughs> and they're okay, like where is that coming from <laughs> yeah you you, you heard some body voice say be more perceptive <laughs> yeah i guess <laughs> it's like who is this it's your conscience <laughs> but yeah that's my that's uh, and then i i have my short board waiting ready okay. to hit whoever comes out <laughs> It goes, to harsh, it, it goes to Harsh next to him. Once again, he's still holding that rock. He's like, where the fuck is it? It's the end of his turn. He's going to hold his action. Uh, Idril, your turn. Uh, well, I'm going to, I guess, use my movement to get up. Or that'll be half my movement? Half your movement to get up, yeah. So I'm going to get up. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, and I'm, I'm going to use... Cure wounds on myself. Okay, that's your action. Okay. And well, I'm still gonna hold. I guess I'm still holding Hunter's mark. I just don't know where to aim it. So yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm just gonna hold. Okay, you you don't get the fifteen, but yeah, you heal yeah. for six. You heal for okay. six. That would have been nice, though. Uh, <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, and I, I'm just gonna have my long bow at the ready. Okay, so just you're aware you won't get your health action because you use action to cast cure wounds. So got it. All right. It then goes to this guy's turn. Where can you get to? Oh yeah. Eply. Ooh, Epley, he misses you. Idril. <laughs> yeah, Idril, yeah, I'll get used to it. Yes, Idril, he misses you as he pops up. Everyone with health actions may fire. Yippee motherfucker. Uh okay. Okay. Um Hashtag will throw his rock at disadvantage. <laughs> Still fucking hits. Okay. Do I, uh, I I'll, I'll wait for everyone to finish then I'll do mine. Let everyone Uh you may attack. Yeah. You uh, wanna you you won't have advantage, but you still have sneak attack. Yeah, I have sneak attack. No, that's it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not worried about advantage. <laughs> Short ball! <ball. laughs> <laughs> yeah, hits. Roll damage. Sneak attack! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first things first, let me roll that wisdom saving throw for it. Yeah, 15. DC See 15. if it does the damage or not. Uh, it fails. That's so it cool. takes a full 20. Yay. But uh, 20 if it's taken damage before, no? Oh, right. No, so yeah, it'll be 2d8 instead, not 2d12. Oh no. Yeah, so roll 2d8. But, it's not, it hasn't been little... damaged. But yeah. he threw the rock first. So it hit he he threw the rock. He, he threw a rock at, it, at the at the one that's dead already. The other one was not hurt at all. No, no you no, said the reaction. His reaction to this. The now disadvantage. Yeah. No, the thing is, you get it off faster than he does. It's just okay. that I rolled it quicker than you did. Fair enough. So either way, two d eight damage, please. Okay, so I attack first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do eight points of damage instead. That's okay. So hold on. Minus Oops. Okay, then I will roll for Harshnag's damage. Even though he rolled disadvantage, he still fucking hit because of course he did. Did I you add? Did you add my seventeen? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oof. Eighteen. Uh, twenty-six. Yo, how big are these rocks? They're big. And I'm he's big. strong. He's a giant man. <laughs> where are all these where are all these conveniently giant sized boulders from? <laughs> I know. He's <laughs> he's ripping them out of the ground. Let's go. There's the car. Uh, yeah, exactly. And he's using some club. He has a fuck off great axe, which is twice, like three times your your guy's size, trust me. He doesn't need a <laughs> tree he doesn't need a tree trunk. So okay, so 18, 26. 31 points of damage as the rock crashes into the creature. All right. And now for you, 16 points of damage, which is 17, 17 points of damage, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks hurt, but that's the end of its turn. Uh, Bell, your turn. Uh, huh. Seeing all of this, I am I'm like, okay, these guys can, can take care of it. I am just going to cast uh, Fairy Fire. Actually, no, I, um, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do Vicious Mockery. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> say, uh, that, that was, that was it seemed to be questionable the way you see, way you said that, but okay. In terms so, of... So, so cast, yeah, so cast Vicious Mockery? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you said it very, you said it very questioningly, so I'm like, uh, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> 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 Okay, you see 15 wisdom saving throw. Oh my Saves God. on a nat 20, so no damage. Anything else for your turn? No, no. I'm just gonna be like, ah, you snake like thing. No, Tired of these motherfucking centipedes. <laughs> motherfucking I like how he yeah. rolls he rolls full damage and then he still doesn't get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> unlucky. Unfortunate. Yeah, so unlucky. This one died. Um it goes to Avadon's turn. I'm just gonna move this thing out of the way. Yep. Avadon is going to step over and he is going to cast Inflict Wounds. Ooh, that's a that's 3d10 now. 
It's the yeah. finger poke of death. Let's go. Definitely hits. He'll cast it at level 2. Let's Ooh. go. Because he's upset. Ooh. 40, 10. Oof, that's all. Only 16 points of damage. Eh, it's not bad. It's still 16 points of damage. As he places his hand upon its upon its skin, it just starts blackening up. However, because it, because it was a melee attack also. Um, Epley, Avedon, and Harshnag take 2d6 of fire damage. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is nine points of fire damage to the three of you. Nine points each? Yep. Uh, interesting. That's the end of Avadan's turn. Yeah. It then goes to Lavinia. It's. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna keep calling the dead. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, succeeds with a natural fifteen. Oh my. Anything else for your turn? Nah. Okay. Gaspar, your turn. Same. Fire, fire, yeah, short bow, short bow. Yeah, hold ahead. No advantage, short bow. Hit, hit, baby. Thank you. It's roll damage. Where's the snake attack? It's, uh, it's on, I guess. Sneak attack. <laughs> you know, you kind of <laughs> negate the point of sneaking by yelling out, sneak attack. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's looking extremely hurt. Anything else for your turn? I will disengage. And stay there. I will move here actually. Disengage move here. I'll okay. be like, haha. <laughs> then goes to Harsh next turn. He's gonna step on it. Nice. Mm, nice. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just roll his uh, his uh, great axes as he attack though. Wait, he rolled a three. What's its AC? That just hits. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> Let's see. go. Uh, so Harshnag just squishes it and shoves it, brought his body underground and crushes it. However, he alone will take fire damage. And he takes eight points of fire damage. And he's like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> but for all intents and purposes, you guys are out of combat. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Nasty bugs. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Hushnag. Nice. I like the way you crushed that last one. You are a Heidi type. You, 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 you need to stop hiding, boy. These things can 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 feel your movement. Uh -huh. So how do they see yeah, no. invisible? In this, how he, do they see he people? He just said. <laughs> they feel your movement on the ground. Also, oh, okay, got it. Idril tried to do yeah. it, but yeah. I mean, it, it was a good plan. Yeah, it was a good idea. But then, yeah. unfortunately, they can feel movement on the ground. So no matter what you do, if they know you're there, they know you're there. Yep. Yeah, it was a good way to make my face a target. Is there? Yes. A... Don't put face to ground when when dealing with things that can borrow. Fair enough. Is there a li how far? Do you know how far they can see with their like the feeling your movement thing? I don't know personally. But hey, I think we dealt with that pretty well. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was pretty good. Well, maybe we should make a bigger circle around them. Maybe there has to be a limit to their like see, Let's seeing see. your vibrations. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay, so as you guys travel further, and you and you guys are, it's getting a little cold at this point. But luckily for all of you, actually only uh, actually Idril, I'm going gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna to need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah, I don't have a ring. Yep, it's getting colder as you guys are traveling up. We're going to have to get you one of these. Ooh. So, as you guys continue your travel. Ooh. Let me, let me fix this. Hold on. As you guys continue your travel, um, Idril, the cold starts getting to you. Yeah. And you suffer one point of exhaustion. Yeah. But... Night begins to fall and it's getting even colder. What would you guys like to do? Um, how far away from uh, the Eye of the All Father are we? I ask Ashnag. Uh, probably four days' journey. Oh, okay. Uh, Depending on how, how fast we move. Mm -hmm. 
Well, uh, is it is it close enough? Is it close enough to night to start to consider taking a long rest? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Um, guys, do you think we should maybe just you know hunker down for the night? Sure. I'm feeling we'll a, I'm feeling a little tired as well, and I would like yeah. to get something to eat. Sure, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're just gonna uh, see if she can potentially hunt something nearby in the woods that we can use the meat for, but she can also make like a coat from the pelt. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me double check something really quickly. Ah, it's not a ritual, unfortunately. Feels bad. What? What? Nah, nothing. Oh, uh, by the way, I changed my thing back to a long term. So I, okay. I now have a long term set for a bit. Give me a quick second, guys. Ah, this might be good, actually. Hold on. Let me double check something really quickly, guys. One second. Oh, this is much better. Okay. Uh, I would like you guys to. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna go live on my my on Discord. Just watch my stream, get the song. That's what, what's playing. As you guys are traveling. Ah, right, like that. Oh no, lag. Wait, I can't hear it. Oh, okay, it's low. Reduce the volume as you, you wish. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so um, so as you guys are, so I'm assuming you're you're setting up the, the uh, the hut. Uh, yes, I am. Okay. So as as you do that, um, Harshnag decides to go hunting. He looks to you, Dylan goes, "You look fucked up. Just sit down and relax. I got this." Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So Harshnag. So Ahashnai kind of uh, takes off as you guys... So, so Bell, you spend the 10 minutes casting the hut down. Yeah. And as you step inside it for the first time, it is cozy and warm inside. I can upcast your wounds, right? You can upcast oh, your wounds, yes. Yeah. I'm going to upcast level 2 on Edgar. Okay. You heal for 10. Nice. I mean, we're going to sleep anyway. Yeah. No, that's okay. Well, for us, for us, we were, you know, sleeping. And a little bit. Just in case, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Whatever. Uh, Thank you. So, uh, the only things that can enter the hut uh, are things that were there inside the hut when it was cast. They can, I think they can, like, lurk around the hut. So, yeah. Right. Just because they can't enter it doesn't mean they can't like hide in the trees and when we step out we get up. So, let's see. After about an hour or two, Hashna comes back with some elk. Yeah. It's because he can't enter. Because he can't enter the hut without destroying it. He'll yeah. sit outside. And, and he will cook up the food and, you know, pass it to you guys as you guys reach your hands out through the hut. <laughs> you all enjoy your meals and it's actually very well cooked. Harshan is getting used to serving small folk. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, is it good? He shouts because he has no idea how the spell works. Good? Yes? <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. Like, it's, you are it's, a good thing. Am I talking too loudly? I can't tell. A little, bit, are, a little bit. A little bit. I mean, I should I shout or I mean, should, should, should I shout or I, I I don't know how this works. Should I shout or can you hear me properly? Someone say can, something. You can speak can normally properly. Okay, you cool. Can, you, okay, okay. You can speak normally. Okay. This, I say keep shouting. It's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't hear you. This is too windy outside. <laughs> no, you're you're fine. I mean, what? She's fucking with you. 
<laughs> she's too small. What do you mean she's fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> We're all just laughing inside the hut. Because it's too funny. Are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> <laughs> no one's laughing at you, hashtag. Okay. Yeah. Well, you all get you all get sleep. I will I will keep watch. Cool. Do uh, you, you have enough to eat? Yes, I have I, I have my, my, my pocket bacon. Your sorry what? My pocket bacon. Oh shit. Okay. That's convenient. I made some giant boar, which I killed earlier. Can I can I have some of that? That sounds delicious. No, it's for me. <laughs> I give you a full elk. I give you a full elk and cook the steak for you. Let me but have my food. But it's my favorite thing. Yeah. Well, too bad. It's mine. Okay. okay. See how it is. No, I don't. I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm very <laughs> Either way, all of you sleep. Okay. So, as you guys. Finally, rest on for the night. Is anyone going to take watch with Hashnag or is everyone going to sleep? I guess uh, I'll, I'll take watch with Hashnag. Not I'll, a bit. I'll, yeah. I'll, First I'll watch. Get, uh, if anyone sure, wants to take not, more watches. I can see in the dark, so this is like sort of good. Um, Idril can also take second watch at least because I only need, I do like a four hours meditative trance thing to regain. So after four hours, I can join him on the second watch. I guess first four hours, I will. Chill with right, so, do you step out of the hut or do you stay within the hut? Um, he's sitting outside, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll step out and stay with him for a bit. Okay. So you see, he has a small fire burning, and he's like, "Oh, little one, I never got your name. What is it?" It's Meher Gaspar, but you can call me Gaspar. Well, Gaspar, it is very interesting. So you are the sneaky type, is it? Yes, I I know I'm a big guy, but uh, I'm a sneaky big guy. Yes, it, it is quite uh, contradictory the way you are moving. You're very large, yet you are able to hide no problem, as long as I need to cover you. Yeah, I'm I'm swift, man. That's what they say. That's what everyone says. <laughs> well, don't be too reliable or don't be too reliant on that. Many things can see you without having to, you know, see you. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll keep that in so, mind. So, yes, while your positioning could be better. In fact, all of your <laughs> positioning could do some work. <laughs> yeah, I'll let the team know. Uh, but, you know, you, you're all very potent fighters. Idril seems to be doing very, very well. Yeah, thank you for bringing her. You know, she's pretty good. Aye, poor thing lost, lost her family to a bunch of frost giants and I found her. Poor thing. My condolences to Idril. Aye. Yeah. Well, either way. So... I see Zephyros put you on this mission, is it? Yeah, he found us. We were a traveling party together. Rest in peace, Epley. But uh, yeah, he found us and uh, took us to uh, Bryn Shander. And oh, the big city in the north? Yeah, the big city in the north, exactly. Yeah, never been. It's, it's a nice town. It's a cozy town. We helped them uh, ward off some frost giants earlier. Oh, well done. Yeah. And yes, my brethren are going a little crazy. Yeah, man. Tell me about it. We've been dealing with it for the past... I don't know. It feels like forever right now. For reference, it's only been like and, a week. But it feels like forever anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <sighs> well, all of you look capable. Unfortunately, Fire Shear fell. That's unfortunate. Well, if only we, we... We we all hoped we could have done more, but... Yeah, we even had to leave a comrade behind because we couldn't do anything. I poor thing rotting on the on the battlefield. It is what it is, dog. <laughs> I am not dog, I'm giant. <laughs> it is what it is, giant. <laughs> you know you are giant kin as well, right? You are one of you you are like a cousin of mine. This is true, this is true. So let let's just say it is what it is then. <laughs> How uh, did you die? Well, was it negligence? Was it poor planning? Was it poor positioning? <laughs> a little bit of all three, I guess. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it happens. You are you are all very new to this, aren't you? Working as a team. Yeah, we... Well, yeah, I mean... I guess so. It's, we're getting used to it, though. A little bit here and there. 
we still don't have you let's just say we don't really have a leader yet so we're all leading each other at this point uh might be might be good idea to pick somebody to be in charge yeah it's let's see let's see we will we will discuss it and let's see all right then so um make a perception check you don't have advantage because need because you don't have like you don't have uh, dark vision no dark vision no. and does he have dark vision let me double check this and don't he does not either so, so just... just straight uh perception yes sir okay 17 as you as you guys are chit-chatting you look out over you can't see very far it's fucking dark here it's, it's a lot of cloud cover there's no you can't see the stars or the moon mm-hmm. it's just dark so you're keeping your, your ears perked up. Yeah. And so is he listening out. And everything seems perfectly fine for now. And yeah. both of you all just hear Bell farting away because the elk was too gassy. <laughs> I don't think we can hear I would like I would hut. like I would like everybody in the heart to make a constitution saving throw. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I'm outside. <laughs> 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 um. Oh, we will have it on as Avedon well. Have it on as well. Well, should should be should Bell roll as well. Wow. Yeah, Avedon didn't even notice. He's still sleeping away. The the, the, the other two of you get woken up <laughs> by the stank inside the place. Ah, uh, this is the weirdest Dutch oven ever. <laughs> there goes our long rest. <laughs> And, and and they all like, outside with the seventeen, you can you heard the fart. Yeah. <laughs> and Harsh is just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Yep. Glad I'm not in there. Same here, brother. Same here. So I'm I'm awake, right? I got woken up by them. Yeah, you got woken up by the smell. So I know I know I can't do anything to Harsh. So I I cast minor illusion on Gaspar. Okay. Okay. What illusion are you casting? Uh, over his head, there's like a solid black cube. Okay, Gaspar, you look up, you see a solid black cube over. Oh wait, no, you can't. You can't cast spells. You you can't cast spells while in the hut. In the hut, yeah. I can. Nope. Oh, never mind. Yep. I think it's you. And uh, and also, you guys can't see into the hut. Gaspar, you and Hashnai can't see into the hut. We can only smell and hear. I I meant. On his head, and like overlapping with his head, so he can't see out of it because he makes out intelligence. I mean, again, you can't cast a spell while within the hut. Yeah. So you can't cast minor illusion. If you want to step out and cast it, you can. You can step out, cast it, and step back in. Nah, it's not. A, it's not us. It's not easy. worth. Not worth it anymore. Olivia debates getting out of bed and then gets back in. <laughs> so, uh, um, your watch comes to an end without incident. Yep. Um, who's taking next watch? Me. Okay. So, Epley, you step out. Yes, I assume you step back in. Yep, I do. It's tanky as fuck in there, but it's beginning to rest. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Epley, you step out and sit with sit with. Uh, with uh, with uh, with Hashnag. so yeah, Hashnag. Adriel, you support and sit with uh, Hashnag. So, little one, how are you feeling? Uh, feeling good. Ready to kill some giants. That's fair, but just you know, point the right, point, point the right direction. Don't like hit me, please. I don't know. Yeah, good. Yeah, one of the few giants I actually like. Which is tough to find in the way things are now. Of course. But remember, not all of us are gone off the deep end. Some of us are still decent folk. So be careful when firing. Think before you shoot. Uh, I'm trusting. I'm, I'm looking at you to be my compass on who's good and who's bad among the giant folk. Little one, a little one, at some point I will leave you. Oh. It is nice have... to be around people again. Exactly. This the, these people will become your, your 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 friends very very soon. Hopefully, at some point you will go where I cannot follow. 
and uh, I can I can no longer be your compass. So you have to be your own compass, <laughs> and use good judgment. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're making it sound easy. But it yeah. is it is extremely easy to make good judgment. Yeah. Take a, take a minute, think, and then act. Don't act on impulse. Impulse is what get people what's what get people killed. <laughs> yeah, but it also helps us run faster. Boom, boom, boom. But... Oh, agreed. Oh no, I mean again, you are very adept with that bow of yours. But again, sometimes fighting is not always the answer. You. That dragon fucked you up. I didn't fight though. He said, "Neil, I need." Yeah, that's my point though. He didn't. He didn't give you a chance to fight because I'm pretty sure you would have fought him. <laughs> you have you you have a hot streak in you, but it is okay. You be tempered with time. Yeah. yeah. But again, you search. Some people will have that. Hopefully, uh, yes. These people seem a little inept, but it is okay. They will get. They will get it together. Okay, I mean, I'm I'm pretty inept too. I'm gonna be lost without you, Hashnag. Why would you go? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I may not have choice. Hmm. Yep. Things but I but, but but I will be with all of you as long as I can. I have I have my own missions to take care of as well. Hmm. So, yep. uh, perception check will be straight. Even though you have dark vision, it's still dark out. So straight perception. Great. You are not paying attention to your surroundings. I'm sitting and thinking about the lot of the deep conversations. Yeah, and the, the fact that, and, and the fact that you nearly died today. Hmm. Yep, yep, tired, cold. You are exhausted as well. Yes, this is true. Uh, yeah, I want to ask about that. Is there a place to mark exhaustion? Oh yeah, let me. Let, I mean, so the, so did you finish your long rest, by the way? Uh, yeah, I had the four-hour okay. meditation. Cool, yeah. So then your uh, your exhaustion is gone now. Okay. You finish a long rest, you drop one point of exhaustion. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I had only I, one point. Yeah, I've turned it. I've turned it on now. Is it? Oh, mm -hmm. isn't it there for everyone already? The exhaustion. No, for I, I, I forgot to put it on her sheet. Ah, okay, okay. It's a new sheet. No? New sheet. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, at this point. Um, Lavinia, you're also awake at this job, point in time because you're also an elf, right? I'm a Kalashtar. You're a Kalashtar, so you have to do your full eight hours, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. So apart from that, who's taking next watch? I, I um, do. I ignore that. I wrong. Do satyrs also have to have their full eight hours, uh, Polly? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. I need full eight hours also, no? Yes. For a box. Yeah. I guess I'll take next one. Cause... Okay. So. I mean, again, um, you don't have cold protection, um, Idril, so you're going to head back in, I assume? Yep. Okay. So you head back inside. Um, and Lavinia, you step out and you sit with Harshnag. He looks at you and goes, Ooh, you're scary. Am I? What makes me so scary? Don't know. Something about you just seems off. Mm. You have this weird aura around you, which is very strange to me. Well, the other people at the orphanage I used to say I said the same thing. I didn't have many friends. That's all right. Ah, it's okay. You can make new friends, no problem. Find them, find more people who are more accepting of your, uh, how do you say, uh, strangeness. Strangeness. Yes. But. The Rabidon guy seems a little silly, isn't he? Mm, yeah. Can't believe you ran straight into those guys back there. Is that what you did? Silly boy. Yeah. Mm. It's okay, he will learn. He will learn. Is there anything you like to do during your watch? Okay. Hmm? No, not really. Okay. Uh, you have Devil Sight? Yeah. Yeah, so you can roll um, perception with advantage. That's the only reason I accepted my watch. Oof, didn't help. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Still can't see anything. You are not focused on your surroundings. You're looking back at your at your childhood and these new friends you've made. Well, quote unquote friends you've made. Companions, let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. Tonight's long rest brought to you by John Cena. Yeah. You can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> You take two points of two, two points of psychic damage. I'm dreaming this. <laughs> yeah, you, you you take two points of psychic damage. While dreaming. <laughs> Every time I make a joke, <laughs> basically. Oh, <God. laughs> um, so you are looking back on the less than ideal childhood that you had. You are a creature of two souls. It's rough. It's strange. And the life that you've lived is been less, it's been eventful, but not ideal. You've made deals with, you've made deal with the creature, which could potentially backfire on you in the future. But for now, you're working on, you're, you're, you're okay. So these thoughts are going through your head, so you're not really paying, paying attention to your surroundings. And uh, that will be the end of your watch as you head back inside. Um, at this point, Harshnag will get up and go. Before you, before you go to bed, he's like, okay, I will go look for food for breakfast. The uh, rest of you just take rest. Idril will keep an eye out. Don't worry about it. So see you in a bit. And Harshnag takes off. All of you, morning comes. You are all well rested. Spell slots are all back. Health back to max. Hit the, you gain half your hit dice back. Half your maximum hit dice. Half your maximum hit dice. Yes. Mm-hmm. So say for say for example, my total hit dice are six. I used three. Yeah. So I gain back three. Yes. Okay. Cool. Is that is that rounded up or rounded down? Rounded down. It's always rounded down unless it says otherwise. So at level seven we get three back to, but at level level eight we get four. Yeah. Yeah. So rule of thumb is it always rounds down unless it says otherwise. It will it'll say round up instead. So cool. Got it. That's always the case. So in the morning, you guys wake up. The dome drops. Um. You guys are going to begin your journey. At this point, um, Harshnag comes back again with some boar this time. He's like, yeah, you want pocket bacon now, don't you? Come on, sit. Learn oh, how to yeah. make. Yeah. Best mom ever. Yeah, All right, so, he, <laughs> he, so he, he, he's got this big fuck of giant boar with him. Butchers it, cuts it up, starts putting it over the coals and fire, and it just oh, yes. crisps up nicely. And he hands you all servings of bacon. Start singing a song. Shaking for bacon. Just like trying to keep everybody in a good mood. And I, I Perfor- just... Performance check. Performance. Nah, I've heard better, but not bad. I've just woken up. Give me some time for my voice to tune up. I still enjoyed it. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, shall we begin journey? Sounds like a plan. Everyone ready? Oh. Everyone rested? Let's go. All yeah. right. Top of the morning, beginning your journey. Is whoever wants to roll a D- D20 for me. Can I? Go for it. Go for it. Let's go. Four. Did I roll a four? Too? Yes, you did. Yeah. I rolled. Roll a D6 for me. Six. I did roll for. Yay. Okay. Oh, I need to refresh harsh next half next second. As well okay. as Abidans. Yeah, Abidans I did it already. So um once again marching order, Harshnag is gonna lead the way. Same marching order? Uh yeah, no uh, this time to. I'll go I'll ask Lavinia to step back and I'll go ahead. Okay, so you'll be so you'll be up of up front with uh with, with Harshnag and Idril. Yeah. So Idril, you're right behind Bell and Avidan in the middle, and you're bringing up the rear. 
Lavinia? Uh, in the middle. You'll be in the middle as well. Okay. Yep. Abaddon can take up the rear. No? Okay, I will take a rear then. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, uh, give me a second. Yeah. You rolled a what on the d6? Six. Uh, six. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, once again, so this time, um, since you're up front with uh, hashtag and moving. Yep. Uh, perception check for me, please. You have advantage. You can roll it again. Okay. My bad. I roll it again. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. So. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> that was a sad perception noise. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> It is unfortunate to say the least, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so as you guys are traveling along your way, um, sorry, one second. So as you guys are traveling and you are, again, high spirits today, feels good, you know? You, you, you took on some creatures, a dragon. You didn't die to a dragon. Yeah. yeah. You guys yeah. survived a dragon attack. Yeah. So you're like, feeling good. Let's get on with it. So as you guys are moving and continuing your journey forward, this, the, this, you seem to be climbing further and further high up the mountain. Until right. you come to a plateau. I mean, the, the plateau is less than um, flat. It's got its dips and and uh, and it's it's got its dips and its rises, but it's not. You're not going any higher at this point. Mm -hmm. As you guys are traveling along the way, you suddenly hear growls yeah. and roars. As oh, you no. guys are all taken by surprise. Oh no. I'm gonna need all of you to roll for initiative. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, not twenty. No, he's three. You're still behind me. <laughs> I rolled 19. No. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Let me close this. Okay. Now, let's quickly find some. Hmm. What is some good music for this one? That is costed. That is not copyright. <laughs> no, I mean all of this is free music. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just use the normal music we've been using for cool. battle. Oh, I forgot that this is being streamed, right? So if you use copyright music, they can down. Yeah, but I'm not. I don't have uh, this thing anyway. I don't have uh, what do you call it? Monetization. Monetization yet. <laughs> so. These guys get <laughs> these guys get, get surprise attacks on all of you. Oh god! So what's going to happen is, as you guys step forward, you realize that you are surrounded. We're all gonna die. As they pop out of the snow, and ambush all of you. So, let me quickly just uh, put this in order first. But regardless, they they can all get to go first. <laughs> so all of you will be making these saves at disadvantage. Oh okay. my god! Okay. So. Um, first off, um, I'm going to need a harsh nag first. Uh, he needs to make his disadvantage. Yep, he fails. He is now paralyzed, but takes no damage because ice. Um, then, uh, Bell, you need to make a constitution saving throw at disadvantage. 
con save and disadvantage. All right, this is gonna be bad. Not that. Hey, bad. you save. Not that. You bad. are now immune. You are now immune to its gaze. Ooh. It then goes to the next one. Abaddon needs to make a constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Um, he succeeds as well, so he's perfectly fine. Lavinia, constitution saving throw with disadvantage. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, no. you are paralyzed, and you take uh, two, 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 two. Ooh, it's a lot of damage. Uh, 11, 14 points of gold damage reduced to 7. Because of the ring. Okay. But you are paralyzed, so it gets to come up to you and hit you twice with advantage. Uh, so first attack, miss, second attack. What's your AC? 22. How much? 22. 22. Yeah, that still hits you. So Ooh. you take. Uh, all I in all. Auto yep. So you take. Uh, 14 Wait, points of slashing damage. 14? 14 points of slashing damage. And. Uh, 9 points of cold damage reduced to 4. So why didn't the other one run off the heart? I am not, scared I, of it. I'm not telling you, but okay, yeah, so that's that done. Um, end of his turn, you are still paralyzed. We'll get to you, we'll get to your turn, we'll see what happens. Uh, this guy, Gaspar, I need you to make a constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Yep. You just succeed, so you're ah. perfectly fine. Ah. Um, last guy, Idril, constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Ooh, you fail and you are now paralyzed as well. Oh boy. Okay, so now we begin the initiative. Top of it all, Gaspar, your turn. You are. You do you know you're not paralyzed, so I'm not. what would you like to do for your turn? Uh, short bow, the guy who's cl who's closest to us. The okay. Here, this one. Roll to, yeah, roll to hit. Uh, you have sneak attack. Yep. But yep. no advantage. Yep, yep. Short bow first. Yep. 18 does hit. Roll damage. Meow. Ooh, nice. 26 points of damage. 24 points of damage. Nice. Cool. All you looking hurt. Anything else we've done? Well, I will disengage. But I, and I will stay here. Oh, okay. Yep. It then goes to Bell. Bell, did you save? You did. Yep. It's your turn I now. Did. I saved. Uh, can you tell me which one was attacked? Can, uh... On the one, the one next to Lavinia, yeah. Okay, cool. So, just a second. Uh... Oh god, I'm having Monster Hunter flashbacks. Parallel. <laughs> Far away. 20, 10, 15. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop... Um, Hold up. Fairy Fire over here. And so... light these three guys up. Where? Sorry? Over here ish. There? Okay. So should be a 20 foot cube to here, here, and here. Okay. Um, Gaspar, I'm going to make a dexterity saving throw. Dex saving throw? Just normal? Yep. Yep. Wait, no, you, you have evasion, right? What? I mean, I do have evasion, but. I yeah. mean, it's up to you. So, so, so you have advantage, but you succeed anyway, so it's okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the other three of them. Okay, so first guy. Fails. What's your what's your DC again? Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. Okay. First guy fails. Second guy also fails, and third guy succeeds. What color? Uh, it is yellow to look like fire. Okay. So these two have fairy fire on them. You are now concentrating on fairy fire. As in, I know it'll have to be sorry. It'll have to be blue, green, or violet. Can we do blue and green together to make yellow? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I mean, you can make whatever color you want. It's just example oh. is giving you that. Okay, okay. But, but I, you said yellow, so I put it as yellow on top on both of them. I'm, can you not see the yellow on them? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. It's a little hard to see, but yeah, it's there. <sighs> so those two are now verified. That's your action. Anything else on your turn? Uh, 
Uh, bonus action, I am going to give Lavinia a an inspiration die. Oh, okay. Uh, Lavinia? Can I use the inspiration to buff my save? You can. So, uh, Lavinia, it's your turn. You're still paralyzed. By the end of your turn, you can make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 10 fails. At disadvantage, huh? No, it's, it's, it's a normal normal save. You don't have to roll oh, to someone, yeah. but, I'll take, but I'll take the first die. So first 10, die. you fail. Uh, can you, you can add uh, this thing to that, no? Again, that's, meta, that's metagaming. Don't, don't do that. Sorry. Okay. Wait, I asked if I could... And I told you, you can. I told you, you can. Yeah, okay. So are you, are you going to use inspiration for this? Oh, I thought you said you can. Okay, I you will. You can, be. he said. Yeah. <laughs> I misheard you. Okay. Okay. That's Roll a D8, D8, right? Roll a D8, yeah. Yep, you are no longer paralyzed. But that's your turn done. Okay. It then goes to this guy's turn. Um, he's going to walk around Harshnag because he's paralyzed anyway. So he's going to come up to... Oh, yeah. You, Bell. Hello. Two attacks on you. Oops. First attack, that is a 25 to hit. That hits. You take uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. Plus uh, 3 points of cold damage, reduced Ten. to 1. Oh, okay. 11 points of damage total? Yeah. Okay. That's his first attack. Second attack, that is a 22 to hit. Hits. You take another 6 points of slashing damage. And uh, five points of cold damage reduced to two. So eight points of damage total? Yes. Okay, good. Got it. At the end of his turn, as he's slashing into you, Aviton, he saved, right? Avidon uh, saved. Yeah. yeah, he saved. You rolled it. Yeah, yeah okay. It goes Avidon's turn. Avidon is going to... Yeah, makes sense. He's going to cast Spirit Guardians. Finally. Um, and they're all going to look like giant fists. So as you see him clutch his holy symbol, and you see this aura of what is, how, how big is this? It's a 15. Wait, what's the, what's the, this thing? 15 foot radius. Okay. Yeah. So one second. Oh, we'll use that. Yeah. And suddenly he he got so simple and you see suddenly these spectral fists fly out of nowhere and start punching all the all the enemies in range. So they need to make a wisdom saving throw. So let me roll damage for spirit guardians first. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Yeah, level three obviously. It's a level three spell. Ooh. They need to make a wisdom saving throw. The two of them there. So first one succeeds. Second one. Fails. So this guy takes a full 14. Uh, this guy takes 7 points of damage. Which one and takes... This guy's, which one's 14? This guy, took, this guy took the most damage. Okay, cool. But now he's not concentrating on Spirit Guardians. Uh, that would be his action. Anything else for his turn? No. That'll be the end of his turn. It then goes to the next Yeti, which is this guy here. Um, he sees what's happening and he's not going to enter that space. So he's going to move here and get to here. And he's going to attack uh, Harshnag with advantage because Harshnag's paralyzed. Harshnag, First attack. That's cocked. Uh, misses. Oh, wait, hold on. What's Harshnag's AC? Yeah, that fucking misses. Uh, his second attack with advantage. That does hit though, and uh, Harshnag takes five, uh, nine points of slashing damage, and no cold damage. Mm. Oh no, it'll be one more d6, sorry, because he's paralyzed. So, altogether, another extra nine points of damage, yeah. Cool. Okay, that's his turn. It then goes to the next Yeti's turn, who is this one, top of his turn, Spirit Guardian's damage goes off again. Oops, that's a weapon, my bad. But nice roll. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. 
and fails. So he takes 11 points of damage. Nice. He's looking so extremely fucked up. Yeah, as 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 the fists keep pummeling into this yeti, and it's just like taking so much fucking damage. Um, it's it's it sees that Abaddon's the source. He's gonna go for Abaddon. Uh, two hits on Abaddon. First attack. Abaddon's AC is eighteen. That unfortunately does hit with a twenty. So that is uh, ten points of damage. Puts it to thirty-nine plus three points of cold damage reduced to one. Yeah. So eight. He needs to make a Constitution saving throw to maintain his spirit guardians. Easily does it, no problem. That's the end of that. Yet he's stone. Oh no, that, that was the first attack, right? Second attack. First, yeah. Second attack misses. Let's go. As the as the, as the, as these fists are pummeling into him, he just can't focus. The second attack just misses. Goes to Harsh next turn. Harsh needs to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, this should be a breeze. Because he's got a plus eight. Yeah, he's perfectly fine. He's no longer paralyzed, but that's the end of his turn. Idril goes to your turn. You are paralyzed, so constitution saving throw to see if you can break free. Yes. Yes, you are no longer paralyzed, but that's the end of your turn. Good roll. It goes to this guy's turn. Um, he is going to... Yeah, this is going to avoid all of this. You see, they see what's happening to their friends, so they're not going to do that. So he's just going to get over here, attack, take two attacks at Harshnag. He's no longer paralyzed, so straight rolls. Uh, first attack, miss. Second attack, miss. He just can't... Just can't penetrate uh, Harshnag's thick skin. It then goes to this guy's turn. He's gonna come running up to you, um, uh, Gespa. Yep. Two attacks. First one, miss. Yes. Second one, miss. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. He swings at you. He might just duck out of the way of both attacks. Then goes to this guy's turn, and he's gonna come running up to you as well and uh, take two attacks on you. Bad day. <laughs> miss. Uh. That hits though. Um, that is a twenty-five yeah, yeah, to hit. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. So you take um, nine points of slashing damage. Uncanny dodge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uncanny sure, dodge. Yeah, actually. Yeah, and then on top of that, that is three points of cold damage reduced to one. Nine. So that's ten points of damage. So you take five in five? total. Okay. And the bit's turn goes to your turn, Gaspar. Oh, bah, bah. Okay, so one second. Let me just double check something. One second. Okay, so I am going to bonus action switch to my rapier. Okay. And I'm going to attack this one. Okay. You have advantage because very fire. Yep. Let's go. Hits. Roll damage with sneak attack. Did I? Hold on. Let me just check. Yep. It's sneak attack. Let's go. Nice. 17 points of damage. Anything else for your turn? Um, I will disengage. You can't disengage because you already used the bonus action to, to change weapons. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. But if I move, I take opportunity. I'm just going to stay. Okay. I'm going to stay. Moving. Uh, nice. Next. Yeah. Done. Okay. Bell, your turn. Uh, I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on the boy who's standing right next to me. Okay. So that's a wisdom saving throw? That is a wisdom save, yes. Uh, DC 15, right? Correct. Uh, he fails. That's uh, 3d6 damage. One second, let me just choose level. Yeah, nine points yes. inside. Okay. Not bad. And he has to move as far okay. away from me. He has to use his reaction immediately. Yep, and he is gone. Gone. 
<laughs> Let's see. Anything else for your turn? Uh, I am gonna give my inspiration to um, Avidan. Okay. Because I just I saw him um, cause some serious damage. So I'm like, oh, this person is probably the person I need to give advantage to as well. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Not okay. move. Lavinia, your turn. Will all you be right, all right. the paralyzed? Slide here. I'm okay. going to curse this one. Okay. Then green flame blade. Roll to hit. I have advantage here. Yes, because he's very fired, yeah. Mm. Come on, 19. That's not what I meant. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 10 points of damage, okay. Then my green flip is down. Oh. Okay. So and then the seven. guy standing north of him gets... Five points of fire damage. Nice. Uh, and Sarlik, you, you, you can see the both, like, they are both recoil from the flames of yours. Anything else for your turn? No, I'm going. I'm going to run to the toilet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? It then goes to this guy's turn. He's terrified of you, so he can't get closer towards you, Bell. Yeah. So he's just going to sit there. That's right. Stay away. It then goes to Avidan's turn, and he is just going to step over here. These two need to. These two need to make constitution saving throws. We're wisdom saving throws. For guy in the north. Fail. Second guy in next to him also fails. So he gets to roll his Spirit Guardian's damage. Nice. They Ooh. both take 17 points of damage. Damn. PJ really needs to be using Spirit Guardians more. <laughs> I don't think they look it up. quite. They, they look quite hot. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, that's his movement. He still has his action and bonus. Um, action. Let's see, what can he do? Uh, do, 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 do. He is going to. Wait, uh, just one question. Yes. When he moves with Spirit Guardians, is his movement decreased? No. Okay. Oh. Uh, he's going to cast level one guiding bolt on this guy here. Nice. Oh, he doesn't have to break concentration for spirit card, you know? No. Wow, nice. Definitely hits. Oh. Oh. What pay? 14 points of radiant damage. And the next person to hit that specific guy has advantage. Ooh. Uh, that's his action. Yep, that's everything he can do for now. That's the end of his turn. It goes to this guy's turn. He's lit up like a Christmas tree, but he's going to attack uh, Harshnag. Uh, two attacks. First one, Mias. Second one, Mias. Next <laughs> guy. <laughs> this guy's turn. Uh, he's still in Spirit Guardians. He needs to make a Wisdom saving throw. Uh, fails, and the the, the fists around uh, Avedon just punch him to death as he falls. Ooh. Let's go. It then goes to Harshnag's turn. Harshnag sees Harshnag this, this uh, completely lit up Yeti and goes, <laughs> two attacks. First attack. Jesus, he rolled, a, he rolled a natural 19. Let's go. Which puts... So that is a 30 to hit. Wow. Plus 11 to hit. Fuck. Uh, so that is... Uh... Okay. Where are my D12s? Hello. Oh no! <laughs> One. I feel two. this. I feel this. Many damage. Uh, Ooh. Dead? No. Um, <laughs> Fifteen. Seventeen. Twenty-four points of damage to this guy. Damn. With one big swing. That thing looks extremely hurt. This one, right? The one. Yep. Nice. Yep. That's the end of Harsh next turn. Idril, your turn. You said two attacks. You, you only two attacked attacks. once. 
No, he, he only has a he only has one attack. Okay, okay. Sorry. My bad. Okay. Um. So uh, I'm gonna move just a couple of feet in this direction. Uh, okay. To get uh, a better angle, and then I'm going to use bonus action hunters. Sorry, we can't hear you. Hunters mark. I think she okay. meant. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Hunters mark. I'm going to use on okay. this. Guy, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. So you're not considering a hunter's mark. Go for it. Yeah. You have it, you have advantage and... because of fairy fire. So roll to hit. Three attacks. End him. Oh, for... sorry, I put disadvantage. My bad. Yeah, advantage. Yeah. Roll again. Uh, re roll. Yeah, re roll. No. Okay. Uh, that does hit. Roll damage. Oof. God damn, what is that? 22 points of damage? Yep. 22 points. He is barely standing. All right. Finish him. <laughs> One more shot okay. at him then. Sure, roll to hit. <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 he has 1 HP left, don't even roll damage. <laughs> Your last attack, who are you attacking? Uh, the other dude that's hit with. Okay, he doesn't, have, he, he doesn't have uh, Hunter's Mark on him, so... Uh, d uh, remove Hunter's Mark as your damage modifier. Okay. And now, um, roll your last attack. Actually, wait, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll aim at this one next to Harsh Knight. Okay, you won't, you, the, the, you won't get advantage on that one, though. So, okay, then, no, no, sorry, then I'll do the one with Fairy Fire only, my bad. Okay. Uh, roll to hit. Uh, does hit, um, and um, so roll damage and add a d8. Okay. Uh, the d8, right? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so you just two shots into this yeti, and then you turn and shoot the, other one, the last shot into the other guy, and you kill both of them. <laughs> Let's go. Within a span of yeah. no time, Idril just ends two of these yetis. Double kill. You anything, kill else, anything, anything else for your turn? Uh, no. That's, oh, okay. that's my turn. I'll maintain my position here. Okay. It then goes to this guy's turn. Uh, yeah, he's going to attack Harshnag because he attacked his friend. Two attacks. First one. Uh, that actually... Yeah, that hits. No damn. So, Hashtag takes. Uh, I can never remember the modifier. He takes five points of slashing damage on the first attack. And uh, I attacked twice, right? Or no? No, second one. You just said first. Okay, second one now. Yeah. Second one also hits, so he takes another. Whoop! Takes another nine points of slashing damage. He's like, no, oh, you're tickling me. Uh, end of that guy's turn goes to this guy's turn who's dead. This guy's turn who's dead. Caspar, your turn. Top of the initiative. Uh, I'm annoyed because he's hitting my brother. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna... Can I move through this? Like, hold on, let me, let me mark it. Yeah. Yeah, where do you want to go? Like this? Yeah, those guys are dead anyway, so they, they, they no longer take spaces. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk up here. Okay. And rapier this guy in the face. Alright, roll to hit. Oh, did I roll with advantage? But yeah, my you don't mind. have advantage, but but twenty five does First it. First one, no? yeah, and you, sneak you, attack. You can sneak attack. Yes, of course you do. Rip yeah. That's eighteen. Nice, eighteen points of damage. Nice. Yeah. Anything else for your turn? I look at uh, Hashnag and I'm like, finish these guys already, and then I will just stay there. Oh, okay. It then goes to Bell. Your turn. I'm gonna cast vicious mockery on this guy. Alright, wisdom saving throw. Fails. Ooh. So he takes four points of psychic damage and disadvantage on his next attack roll. And runs away, no? No. Oh, no, that's, no, no. that's the other one. That's this. Oh, that's, that, that, that's your action? Anything else? Uh, no, I'm just going to chill. Okay. Lavinia, your turn. Uh, I get I get HP back with the guy I cursed. Yes. 
I get what? What should I get back? Hold on. X blades first. X blades first. I gain four. I gain eight hit points back. Mhm. Mm nice. Okay, so I move here and green flame blade. Alright, roll to hit. That does hit, roll damage. Six points of damage, nice. Okay. The guy next to him. What? Yeah, triple success. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy is barely hanging on to life. This guy is hurt. I mean, I, I'm not a uh, being warlock, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, just uh, put up. Uh, listen to whispers for me. One second. Features called Miracle Tetra. Creature doesn't move in the opposite train song. Target is half. Okay. 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 To, uh, and start attacking you, uh, Lavinia. Two attacks. Sure. Uh, miss. And natural one miss. <laughs> Scratches his friend. Goes to Avidan's turn. And he's just going to... Hello. Move in range here. They all need to make wisdom saving throws. Oh, they're all, they're all going to get Jojo points today. Yeah. So, first guy, unfortunately, succeeds. Actually, let me roll damage quickly. So I know I what they're at. I didn't know clerics get stands. Not the stand. Play a cleric next time. Oh damn. Huh. Ooh, that's unfortunate. unfortunate. But whatever. Uh, so the first guy succeeds, so he only takes two points of damage. Next guy, it doesn't matter what he rolls, save or fail, he dies as he gets punched to death. One and HP. the last guy, he had one HP. Yeah, Last guy fails and takes four points of damage. Uh, then Abaddon's going to use a first level spell slot to cast Inflict Wounds. Ooh, that definitely hits. Level one. Chunky. Ooh. 24 points of damage. Uh, that thing's looking really fucked up. But that's the end of uh, Abaddon's turn. Yep. Uh, which one did Avidan just attack? This one inflicts wounds is melee. I mean, the the, the, the last one. Oh, oh there's one, one was laying there. Yeah, okay. so. Then goes to this guy's turn who's dead. Goes to this guy's turn who's dead. Goes to Hashnag's turn. Uh, he's going to cleave the guy over here. Yeah. Uh, one attack. Oop. Ooh. Matt? He crit, okay. Please. Um, Avidan, roll a d6 for me. That's you. Oh, sorry, 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 no, sorry, I have it on, sorry. Me. Gaspar, roll a d6 for me. He unfortunately swings it into you. Oh, God. Nat 1? Yeah, he rolled a nat 1. And I rolled 1 too, apparently. <laughs> uh, Brother! So, yeah, so, <laughs> you take... Yeah. Minimal damage. Oh, wow. 17 points. <laughs> Actually, no. It's... 5. Okay. 8, 9, sorry. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 points of slashing damage. Uh, do I get uncanny dodge here? No, right? Uh... Masking. Did you use it last turn? I used it the two turns before. Two or three. You can use uncanny. You can use uncanny dodge for this one, yes. Okay, uncanny dodge then. Okay, so half that damage, so six. Yeah, I look to him and I'm like, brother, wrong target. Oh, oh. Apologies, my hand slipped. <laughs> That's the end of Harshnag's turn. Yeah. Goes to Idril. Um, 
Idril's gonna use um so it will I get two shots, right? If I use my longbow. Yes. Um so I'm gonna Okay, I'm gonna use my hunter's bonus action hunter's mark on this one. Okay. Um I'm just gonna re enable that. Mm -hmm. Mm, unfortunately that misses. Second okay. attack. What? Oof, that also misses. Uh, keep track of your arrows also, by the way. Sorry? Keep track of your arrows. Yeah. I hope I, I, I sincerely hope you know how to make arrows out of like bones and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm a wood elf. I know how to make. I should know how to make. I think I do. Uh, do you have a tool set for that? Uh, I'm not sure. So probably not then. Um, Is that your, anything else for your turn? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Then goes to this guy's turn, top of his turn. He's make a wisdom saving throw. Fails with a natural one. Period mm. guardians go off. 14 points of necrotic, I mean, radiant damage. He's looking extremely hurt. But at this point, he is going to run away, which means Harshnag and uh, and Gaspar, you both get attacks of opportunity. Can I just, I'll just roll mine? As well? Yeah, roll for it. Um, ha the harsh knife definitely hits. Well, I'll just roll mine anyway. Yeah, I hit too. Okay, so <laughs> harsh knife she sees that that you you're about to strike him, so he pulls his he's about to swing and stops before he hits it and lets you take the kill. So roll damage Woo! with with uh, sneak attack. What a guy. Yeah. So as this starts running away, how you want how you want to do this? Yeah. <sighs> so I see these fists pummeling straight into this cat. So this. Well, this creature. And this mm. creature turns around and starts running. So I say, where are you going, brother? And just swipe at him in okay. full uh, Pistol Fury range <laughs> with my rapier. And it, like, chop his head off. Okay, so as, it's, as it turns to run, you just go, you got to sing! As it heads, just falls off its shoulders and it just collapses on the ground, dead. Goodbye. That's the end of its turn because it's dead. And top of the initiative, Gaspar. So I'm gonna hold on. How much? What is the range here? I think I should be able to. Yep. So I'm just gonna. After I finish killing this guy, I'm gonna move here. Okay. Uh, here actually. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take another swipe at my rapier. Yeah, roll to hit. You have sneak attack. Yep. Oh no. Ooh. Unfortunately, that misses. Oh no. Anything else for your turn? I miss, I, I kill this guy and I'm like this, I'm just like, oops, my bad. <laughs> disengage, run away again. <laughs> you bonus action, disengage and run away. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> okay, Bell, your turn. Can I, uh, I've never done this uh, before, I've always like tried to use spells. That's what Can I said. take out my longsword and try and attack him? If you want, yeah. Yeah, so I am going to take out my long sword. Bonus action, uh, take out your weapon. Okay. Yep. Move up to this guy. Uh, and attack him. Okay. Roll to hit. Two-handed. Ooh, unfortunately that misses. That's a mess. Okay. Uh, I am just going to be like, yeah, no, I should have just stuck with my spells. Mm-hmm. Uh, and stick around there and hope that uh, Lavinia can take it out before it attacks me. Okay. And then goes to Lavinia. Your turn. Is it an action to like switch from one-handed to two-handed? Because I have a shield. Yes, you, it is an action to put away your shield. All right, one-handed. Green flame blade. Let's go. Okay. Roll to hit. Hold on. Don't fuck this up. Fourteen. Hits. Roll damage. Actually, do, do, don't, don't even roll. Actually, you know what? Roll damage. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I... Hold on. Oh, fuck. I can't roll damage. What? Can you roll? Because you know, you know the thing that pops up when I hover over the number? It won't go away. Now it's blocking my view. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's dead. How do you want to do this? Uh, so I have my green flame blade. So... Mm -hmm. So I run, I don't charge up my green flame blade yet. I go in and cut him with my sword, so there's like a small gash. 
Then my shield has a pointy bit, so I jam it into the gash and channel my green flame blade to the and he just explodes out. Uh, fire explodes straight through his body. Okay. As the singed f- scent of fur permeates through the air, as this one finally falls dead, you guys are out of initiative. Yay, let's... Uh, um, Adrian's gonna real quick run to the bodies and try to collect her arrows and clean them. Uh, investigation check. <sighs> Ooh. You find one arrow. The rest are broken. Uh, okay. Papa. Any of you guys know how to make arrows? At this I point, no at this point, I tell Idril that I have a few arrows left, but I don't know if they're suitable for her longbow. No, I, arrows are universal. Universal? Okay. Yeah. How many arrows do you need, Idril? <laughs> uh, for now, I'm good, but if we keep encountering peeps like this, I may borrow from you after boy. Yeah, I have... will not borrow. I well, don't, I don't know let if me just... Yeah. So, 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 so to keep in mind, every quiver can hold only 20 arrows. Any yeah. arrows. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. Sure. So, okay, so I can summon weapon. The, the, the rage weapons I summon with my hexplate thing come with their own ammo. If they just generate ammunition. Yes, but you can't give hexplate to something. You can't give it to somebody else. I can't give the weapon to someone else, even if they like stick within five feet of me. Yeah, they Because if it's more than five. Because if, 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 if the back weapon leaves your hand, it's gone. After five minutes, it really? disappears. Just as... and, and the thing is, like, it doesn't matter. You can't. It's way. See, it's your weapon. You you have to give. You can't give it to somebody else. Got it. Your patron will not let you do that. It's like no. That's no. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> fuck that. My, to... my, my my magic is for you and you alone. Nobody else. I'm going to heal myself for five hit points with lay on hands. Off cast cure wounds on me. Oh wait, no. Actually, I'll. Actually, no. Um, at this point, at this point, Avalon looks around and goes, oh, "Anyone need healing?" Yeah, I would like some. Yes, please. Okay, so he is going to cast Mass Healing Word. How much healing is that again? Wait, wait. It's basically healing word, but for everybody in a sixty-foot radius. Yeah, sweet, nice. Uh, Jeez, um, that's mad. You all heal. You all heal for eight plus five. Oh, thanks, man. I'm full again. <laughs> so everyone heals for 13 hit points. <laughs> That's <laughs> That was exactly how much I needed. <laughs> and Spirit Guardians drops. Verifier also drops. And Hunter's Mark also drops. So, that's end of combat. End of combat. At this point, Harshnack turns right. to you guys and goes, Yes, that was much better. That Avadon, was... do this more often. The, 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 these flying fists are very impressive. Everyone's like, Yes, 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 of course, yes. Of course. Mm-hmm. yes. So, so, you guys continue on your journey. I heal for 13, right? Yep. 13, yeah. Yeah. My roll point is lagging. My character should be there. So as you guys are traveling along, Harshnack tells you that this is called the spine of the world. Ooh. That you are that you guys are traveling upon right now. That we're traveling through, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm in front again, yeah? No, it doesn't matter. It's cool. Okay. So, as you guys continue your journey, whoever wants to, roll a d20 for me. Uh, I believe. She, sorry, Idril, do you want to? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. 16. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to bed. So, same marching order as usual? I'm in front yep. this time. Yeah, you, you, you're in front with the Harshnag, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Give me a perception check. Yep. With advantage. Hey, advantage, perception. 24. 
Nice. Thank you. So as you guys are continuing your travel journey, uh, da, 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 so I'm just rearranging people in the marching order. Yeah. Okay. So as you guys are continue traveling your journey, uh, let me put the music back. So as you guys are traveling through, um, guess what? You notice a rather tragic scene up ahead. Oh. You see several dead humanoids. Oh man. Oh no. And it seems they've been ripped limb from limb. What and has happened here? Give me a medicine check. Oh, okay. first one. Nine. Nine. They look fucked up. You don't know what happened. All we well, can see is that. Next to them now, right? You've walked up to these corpses now, yes. I'm, I'm going to divine sense. I'm going to... I don't know. There might be some. Okay. Use your divine sense. And there okay. is no... There's no fiend, fey, undead, or uh, any of the... I think of the sort nearby. Uh, it's can... alright, guys. They're not zombies. Can I cast Waiting my de detect us. magic? Sure. So, mark up, ma mark up a spell slot. Yeah. And uh, you guys detect magic, and you detect no magic on any of them, but the rest of you are lit up like Christmas trees. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Idril's also gonna just check the bodies to see if she can figure out maybe what caused the wounds or what was responsible for Medicine sure. Medicine check. Medicine check. Okay. As you as the, the the sight is horrific, you're a little taken aback. It's almost bringing back memories of what happened in your in your village. So you're trying to focus and see what happened, but you're just not able to figure it out. You just know that these things have been ripped to shreds. Oh, I think it was giant. I, I ask. Like I giant. turn to uh, Harshnag and I ask him, any idea what could have caused this? Yeah, probably the Yetis we faced before, most likely. Giants don't rip things from limb from limb, we just smoosh. True. <laughs> True. Yeah, what were they doing up here anyway? That was strange. <laughs> Shall we move on? Are they not supposed to? Can we, uh, sure? can we loot these guys? To see if there's anything on them that we can use? Investigation check. Wow. Dude, don't, like... Actually, you know... Yeah, can we can we tell from their like garb and their race where they may have come from? Like, do they look like? It seems to be a mixed bag of people. There are elves, humans, dwarves. Huh. Not 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 hundred percent sure where they're from either. Five. And then... the no, the site is the, the site is a little gruesome, so you can't really find anything. You're more like, let's just get the fuck up out of here. Let's go then. Uh, remind me if is cremation part of the burial ritual? Like religion check. Wow. You well, have no idea. Horrible. You have no idea. Well, best not to risk it. Don't want to get first. Well, I guess let's just her, let's just carry on then, guys. Okay. So as you guys carry on your journey all across the planet of the world, very strange to see small folk up here. It's, it's a dangerous place up here. Why would they come up here? Strange. I'm such a motley crew, so maybe they're running from something. Well, yeah, potentially, or maybe or something they... was chasing them, or they were they, they were hunting and then they got lost, or maybe they were a group of adventurers like us. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. Well, at least they, at least you all are faring better. So far, so good, Harshnag. So far, so good. So far, so good indeed. So as you guys continue your journey. Night once again falls. Mm -hmm. Same process? Yeah. Okay, so let's, for the sake of it, fast forward to the next day. Yep. Sure. Oh, okay. So, so oh, actually, no. Um, so I'm going to need two concierge from you, um, Idril. I forgot because you don't have cold protection. Right. Oh, I, sh I, sh I, sh I should have rolled this before, but yeah. Uh, you're fine. And second one? Yeah, you're perfectly fine. You you managed to somehow keep warm. Yeah, pull the elephants in closer. Yeah. So, as you guys continue, night falls. You guys take your normal watches with no issues at all. 
luckily for all of you because i rolled fuck all for encounters at night <laughs> so you all awake in bright and early in the morning breakfast is once again served to you by hashnak mm -hmm. this time he found some uh, uh some what are they called uh, hook beaks sorry axe beaks ooh okay. basically taste taste like chicken nice Nice. But a big, but a big fucking chicken. Like think emu. That's how big they are. Ooh. Okay. okay. Nice. Thank you, Harsh. So, ah, least I can do. You're helping me. No, your food is very good. Ah, thank you. Like I said, you're helping me. Least I can do. Mm. So, uh, top of the morning as you guys begin your journey. Someone roll a d20 for me. Can I? Yeah, go for it. Perfect. Cheers. Nine. Roll a D four for me. One. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, same marching order. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, as you guys are traveling forward, uh, Gaspar, uh, advantage perception check, please. Oh. 24. Thank God. As you guys are walking up ahead, you see a rather large contingent of what look like barbarians. They haven't spotted you yet. What are you doing? I turn to Abidan and ask him, could this have been the same barbarians we had encountered earlier? And, well, Bell as well. <laughs> I mean... Maybe I don't know. I can't tell. What, what do you see? And with the twenty-four, you can see that they seem to have bear pelts on them. No, I think these guys are safe. I... The person <coughs> that was told us a bear tribe were like, you know, not the murderers. Yeah, I mean, they could be a hunting party that just came to kill something, you know. No, so the bear, the bear barbarians, yeah. and bear and elk barbarians will leave us alone. Uh, tiger and wolf I barbarians. Think, yeah. Right. That's good to know. So I guess we'll just be on our way. Yeah, just... but maybe we should also keep in mind that we're walking with the frost giant, so that might make them hostile potentially. Potentially. So let's. I guess let's let's try to go around. Let's just let's just let them be and go we our can, way. We can try pass without a trace again. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, okay then. Every, everyone, roll cell checks for me, and add plus ten. I'm so wow. happy I got I'm so happy I got metro armor. I don't get this advantage. I'm still gonna get to be armored. Hashtag rolled, right. an, uh, hashtag rolled a nine nat twenty. <laughs> He's a hidden. Oh wow. Wow, at disadvantage he rolled a nine. So that's twenty five, twenty nine, twenty four, seventeen, twenty nine. I rolled before everyone, so mine's thirty. Yeah, thirty one. Yeah. So yeah, as you guys move on by, it's a little hard for Harshnack to hide because he's fucking nearly 20 feet tall. But you see the barbarians look over and see Harshnack and they don't react. It's like they actually step away from him as they give you all a wide berth as you guys continue on your way and they just watch you go. Yep. Harshnack looks back and they're just like, they go back to whatever they were doing, which you don't know what they were doing. Awesome. But he's like, well, I'm glad they didn't attack. I, I'm, I don't want to kill people. Killing my own my own kind and monsters, yes, but human beings, I don't want to kill them. Even though I'm extremely proficient at killing humans. Yeah, you seem like it. That is so lovely. Big heart. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt anybody, but people make me hurt them. So it is what it is. I feel you, brother. I'm, bi I, I'm, I'm big guy. I'm big guy. <laughs> I hurt people. When I, only, I hurt people when I just walk. Sometimes. That's yeah. It it seems very likely, and I'm glad. I'm not in your path. <laughs> You're on our side. So, as you guys continue your next leg of the journey, whoever wants to, d20 for me. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to roll. Go for it. 
Give me a ten. <laughs> oh no. NT. <laughs> Three. Uh, roll a d4 for me. <laughs> one, one, one. Don't you dare give me. <laughs> so, this time around, as you guys starting, also uh, um, once again, uh, Gaspar, yep. perception check with advantage. Nice. You notice even Harshnag like stops you all. Yep. And looks at it and goes, hmm, three crackheads. Uh, what do we do? Those things. We can fight him if we can see him. I mean, is, what do you guys think? Is Pasmid at a place still up? No. No. It, it, would have, it would have gone off by now. It only lasts an hour. Yeah. And I mean, they're cray cats. They they'll probably be able to sense us as well. No, they haven't made any moves towards you guys yet. What do you guys think? They're there. I, I mean, um, we can... How far are they? I tell you what, I have idea. You just see him f running full sprint, screaming his his head off, like fucking kill you, and the cray cats just go Wah! and just run. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that works too. <laughs> Nice. And then Harshnag comes running back. I did not think that would work, but yay! <laughs> <laughs> My, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, again, remember, it's a small number of them, so they may be scared of me, but it was bigger pride, perhaps it would have been a little more difficult. Well, I hope. But I did not think that would work. That was awesome. Yeah, that was, that was fun, you. man. That was fun. <laughs> I. Uh... Yes. I, I, have a I should have. I have my hex weapon, my pack weapon, right? So my hex weapon is my long sword, and my pack weapon is whatever. Unless you made your long sword your hex weapon, but yeah. Oh, it's I mean, I mean, I know. I, I, unless you made your made your long sword your packed weapon. I think pretty sure my long sword is my pack weapon, and my hex. My wait, no, I'm confused. Okay, so. My longsword is my pack weapon, which has the same bonus as my... Well, my longsword is my hex weapon, which has the same bonus as my pack weapon, which is whatever I need it to be, so... Yeah. I didn't hear a question. I, yeah, but, okay, I, I sure. confused. You yeah. figured it out, but great, cool. cool. So, having scared away the crack cats, you guys move even further along the way. Uh, once again, Idril, I need you to make two constitution saving throws. Okay. You have one point of exhaustion. Oh, no. We need to get to a town fast and get to Damn. Okay. I hope that they have a ring. Do I need to make one more? Yes. Can I give her my uh, mm, no. I mean, you can give her your ring, but then you'll freeze. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that time, you managed to keep save, save away the cold. So you only take one point of exhaustion. But night falls. Okay. It's a, so as uh, this point comes, um, Ashnag looks to all of you and goes, by uh, tomorrow night, we should reach the All Father's Eye. So we're nearly there. Nice. I'm glad. It's All this walking is exhausting. Uh, shall we take a 10 minute break? Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, okay. but uh, I, I'd like Wait. to wrap up ideally by 10 before 10 as early as possible today, if we can. So that can I mean, be up I mean, to you I'm again, up to you guys. You can, we can stop now also if you want. Wait, so hold on. Do you, do you really need to go? Huh? Like, do you need to go like immediately? No, no, she doesn't. Immediately. Uh, no, I'm saying is, but the thing is like, the reason I'm asking is because if you guys get into something in the middle of this, mm, if she leaves, yeah. it's going to be a little bit problematic. So which right. is why I'm asking, do you want to stop now then? Uh, no, or do you want to keep playing? We can, uh, then we'll just can... take a five minute break. Yeah, well, like, okay. Can... okay, five minute break then. Yeah, yeah. and we yeah. Can, like, we'll start immediately as soon as everyone's here. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. cool. What time is it on your guys' end? For us, it is nine. nine ten. Yeah, it's gonna be nine, nine ten. ten. So five minutes, okay? Yeah, or, five minutes. Yeah. See you guys. See you guys in at nine fifteen. Yep, sounds good. Works. Hmm. Then we have. It's eleven. It's eleven thirty-seven. 
Yeah, so 11.45 for you. Okay. Okay. BRB, guys. Yeah.
Okay, let's go. Okay, quick team decided to grab you. Uh, like, same, same. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Launch you back. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright. So, uh, once again, is there anything anyone like to do during the long rest, or are we just going to fast forward? <laughs> do we have? Uh, do these guys have healing potions? Could I potentially try to make healing potions with my herbalism kit? Right. Um, it's going. It's it's have? going to take you a week to make a potion, and you don't okay. have the materials for it. Right. Okay. So then, no, nothing. Yeah. So nothing there. Okay. Cool. Hmm. So we'll fast forward to the morning. Yep. Last leg of the journey. Um, whoever wants to, D twenty for me. Go ahead, Benji. I'll roll up. Yeah. <laughs> Four. All our D20s are bad today. <laughs> the temperature has dropped further. Ouch. Therefore, you guys, your, your journey has been slowed as it's snowing heavily. So you guys travel a little yeah. slower, so you don't get very far for the day. Okay. So what was supposed to be a day's journey is become longer now. Okay. Um. Idril, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. You take one point of exhaustion. Yeah. As you guys continue to travel. Uh, whoever, next one, uh, give me a d20. Go for it, uh. Taro, you can go for it. <laughs> Did someone roll? Yeah. Oh, oh, roll. No. oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay fine. Cool. fine. Well fine. rolled. Fine, fine. Sorry, it just updated late to make my bed. <laughs> All good. Yeah. Um, once again, as you are traveling, you come across more corpses. Hmm. This time, it seems of barbarians. Can we see what um, elves they have? Um, give me an investigation check. Hmm. Little hard to tell. The snow is kind of covered up most of the bodies. It's a little difficult to tell at this point. Cool. Yeah. Are we trying to loot these guys? Yeah, we can oh, try. Okay. Yeah. Alright. You guys carry on your way. Okay. Again, you don't make it very far because the, the weather is still kind of fucked up. Um, Idril, once again, constitution saving throw. Yep. Yeah, you, you, you manage to keep your... You manage to keep warm somehow. Does anybody have to help people? Sorry? What? Do... Any of us have anything that will help keep her warm? That's I don't know. Us. Do you? <laughs> Can we take the furs from the uh, orcs that we just, or the the, the the barbarians that we just? I guess yeah. that's how you can curse really, really fast. We can detect Sorry, magic no. and see. No, uh, because there's something called desert in the dead. And... Yeah, that's why I was considering it, but then I didn't know if. We'd want to be doing that. Good. I mean, exhaustion, exhaustion will kill you fast. Yeah. Um, okay. I think I'm going to just check out the corpses and see if there's any potentially like a fur belt or something that I can take. Desperate times. Invest investigation check. Fourteen. Um, you find uh, some pelts, but they are in very bad condition. Hmm. But they can potentially help you. All right. So I'm going to grab them for now and use them as long as I can. Okay. And then see if there's something else I can potentially get along the way and make a coconut or something. Okay. Cool. So as you guys travel once again, someone roll, someone roll another D20 for me. Go for it, um, Aru roll. Oh. Just take turn. 18. 
you see a single yeti up ahead of you but it looks smaller it look it looks smaller than the ones you faced before hashnag just kind of goes do you want to try what, it again what do we do do we kill it or leave it alone I'm going to try scaring it away again i think i uh, i guess we'll i we should just no i think we should just leave if it's a smaller one we never know if there are other bigger ones next to it somewhere yeah it, this smells like a trap yeah yeah i'm sure you're smart enough yeah we we'll just keep moving let's just keep moving yeah and if it if it attacks we attack back yeah hashtag we keep moving leave it alone right. keep moving okay so you guys decide to skirt around it it notices you but it doesn't move towards you because you're a large group of people and there's a big fuck off person with you yep. so it kind of goes rah, crawls at you and just kind of stands there like in full defensive mode but it's not making moves to run or approach yep as you guys are walking away and finally you leave it behind as it as you lose sight of it um it's a constitution setting so yeah you're perfectly fine you managed to you managed to keep your keep warm the, the new furs are working a little better than what you had which was nothing before uh, yeah. but you're feeling a little bit warmer as night falls you guys arrive at the base of the mountain oh are we there yet Hashnag I'm asking Hashnag are we there yet You take 2 points of psychic damage for that Okay no problem <laughs> And he goes uh yeah by I mean right now it's a little too it's a little too cold to travel you can see it is pretty much freezing to death over here Hopefully oh. tomorrow morning we'll have better uh we'll have better weather yeah. and then once we head inside we should be fine Cool Inside Yes, inside. So, uh, are we is what time of day? Yes. Is we we shall make camp. It's getting dark as you can see. Okay. Let's make camp here. Okay. And then in the morning, we'll head upstairs. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Then goes up. Okay. It's at this point um so we're going to do watch now. Yeah. Who's going to take first watch? Can we do the same order as before? Sure, I'll take first watch then. Okay. So, with Harshnag, uh, give me perception check straight. Mhm. 18. As you are sitting there with Harshnag, yeah. you guys having a just no a normal chit chat. Mm. You start hearing footsteps in the snow. Okay. Heavy footsteps in the snow. Okay. You can't see cuz you don't have dark vision. Dark vision, yeah. But you but you can hear it. What do you do? Um Fuck. This is difficult. Can I can I investigate close by cuz I'm I mean I have I can camouflage, right? Myself. It's not camouflage exactly, but you have a high stealth, so you want to go go see what's up? Yeah. Okay, so give me a stealth check with advantage and then a perception check with disadvantage. Okay, so I have to give you a stealth check with advantage first. Yep. As you are trying to find out what's happening. Yep. yep. Okay. And now give me a perception check with disadvantage because you don't have dark vision. Okay. Because Harshnag is not joining. He's staying where he is. Okay. 18 though. Yep. You notice you see you can barely make out the silhouette. because the, the sky is still a little bit you can see the bit of moonlight you know mm -hmm. lighting up the snow the snow around you you see the tiny yeti along with five other larger yeti okay so i go back uh, <clears throat> after i see this i go back to harshnag and i tell him what i see at this point harshnag's like okay i will go try and hide and he literally lies down and put snow on top of himself <laughs> oh my god okay so what harshnag is afraid of these yetis too <laughs> he the, again you don't know what's up but yeah that's what he's doing 
Okay, so I will hide. Where? I guess I'll go into the hut. <laughs> okay, so you step into the hut. Yeah, I step into the hut. And you're the only one awake at this point. I'm the so only you're one keeping awake. an eye out. I'm keeping yeah. an eye out while I'm inside the hut. Yeah. Yeah. You see them approach. Language you don't understand. They seem to be growling around. They, they, they seem to be looking around. There's right. like this sniffing in the air. They can smell you guys, but they cannot, for the life of them, find you. Okay. It's just. <laughs> Are you doing anything? I I'm so good. just keep quiet and you know make sure that everyone else is okay. Just keeping an eye out, make like you know trying to be as still as possible. Okay. Yeah. They said they they stand up for another minute looking around. And then finally they like <laughs> and they just start walking away. Okay. All of them walked away? All of them walked away as far as you can see, which is not very far. Not that far. Okay. Um at this point I will wake Lavinia up. Okay. And tell her what I saw. But okay. and that they came close and you know I was keeping an eye out I was waiting for them to leave and as far as I can see they have left so that's what I will convey to her right so I'll take a look around to make sure they're like really good okay straight perception check oh no you have you have devil side so uh, perception check advantage because hashtag ha so as soon as you wake up, see Hashtag pop out of the snow, stand, sitting up. Are they gone? 19. 19. As you look out, things, it looks clear to you. Everything looks perfectly clear. Not seen okay, good. Now, keep in mind, I did not want to wake you all. You all looked extremely tired, which is why I didn't want to fight. Yeah. Which is why I covered myself with snow. Makes sense. Makes sense. You're not even here. Shut up. <laughs> What? I was there. You are sleeping now. Shut up. Okay, I'm sleeping. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> so I put, I woke him up and I went to sleep. Okay, cool. Obviously, yeah. That's how it works. You, you need your rest. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So he's like, okay, everything looks clear for now. All right. No problems. We'll continue our watch. Um, <laughs> your watch continues without incident. At this point, um, Idril, you awaken. Mm -hmm. Um, and you, you see both Lavinia and uh, Harshnag outside chilling. Do you tell her about what happened with the Yetis? Lavinia? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They we might try. To, they might be coming back. So be on guard. Okay. So Lavinia, you head back to bed. Idril, perception check, straight roll. I have dark vision though. Doesn't matter. No? Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. 25. Nice. Good roll. Good. As you sit there near Harshnag, and you're, you're like sidled up to him because he's giving you a, a degree of warmth, even though he's a frost giant. So you're, you're, you're kind of huddled up to him, keeping warm. It's like, you really need to get what they've got going. I don't know. I don't know how they're staying warm. You should probably ask them what, how they're doing that. Yeah, I'll probably do that next time. I mean, I'm sure if the like, furs couldn't fix, so the next time we're able to stop in a town, I'll pick up some furs. It might help. Yeah, well, hopefully that's soon, because last thing I need you is to come this far and turn to a fucking popsicle. I don't know. <laughs> I'm staying warm. Somehow or the other. And all this adrenaline is also helping to keep me warm. Mm. I can't believe I slept through an almost Yeti ambush. That would have been messy. I mean, it's, this dome is impressive. Like, I can't even see into it. It looks just like a little mound of snow. It's kind yeah. of impressive. 
Isso é cool. Indeed. Um, it is at this point you hear flapping of wings about you. But it's far up in the sky. But with your 24, you see uh, this. Hold on, let me just... Uh, I'm, I'm giving it to you and you alone. Okay. Because you're the only one awake. Yep. But you see that creature flying in the sky. Don't see anything. And it is gargantuan. Sorry, did you share the picture with me? Yeah, it's, it's in your journal. Oh. No. It'll be under handouts. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that thing is huge. It's that far away from you, and it is, you can see it clearly. It's that fucking big. Okay, do do I know anything about it? Have I seen it before or read about it at any point? Love Give thing. me nature check. Mm, unfortunately, no. no. This is um, a creature. I, I mean, you know large creatures live in this world. But this one in particular, you're not sure what it is. I, I asked Kashnag if he... Has recognized and if he knows if it's likely to attack us, should we hide again? He looks up and goes, oh, I, I can't see anything. What are you talking about? Okay. Why can't he see it? He doesn't have dark vision. Right. Okay. All right. So he's like, uh, he's, like what, what, he's like, what are you looking at? I can't see shit. It's so dark. So then um, I, I describe it to him uh, the colors, shape. Oh, uh, right. yes, that creature is called a rock. <laughs> and are they, are they typically the, the type to, are they aggressive? Like, the, will they attack without warning or is it just... I mean, I mean, if you attack their nest, they will destroy you. They are capable of destroying full cities on their own. Uh -huh. So, let's not antagonize them, huh? Yeah, no, that makes sense. I'm I'm on board with that plan. Uh, yes. Do we need to hide now, though? No, or... I see. It 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 seems to be hunting for something, and I don't think we're on the menu. We should be okay. Are they common to this area? There are a few that fly around. They're not extremely common. They're a rare sight to be seen, and those people who have gotten too close um, have not lived to tell the tale. Okay. So let's not come underneath that list. Then. 100%. We will stay away from that creature. It is terrifying. Dragons are scary. This is just as scary. Not as not as smart as a dragon, but yeah. still terrifyingly powerful. Okay. At least a dragon will ask us to kneel. You have something to do for it. I don't know what this thing would ask for. Oh, this thing won't ask. This thing will just rip you to shreds. Sweet. Okay. Give me, give me a quick second. I need to double check something really quickly. Mm -hmm. Ah! Fuck! No! Stop it! Ah. So he tells you, he's like, I can't see it myself, but honestly, they're fucking huge. Their wingspans, yeah. their wingspans about 120 feet. Yeah, I can see that. They're quite pretty, yeah. though. From far away, yes, they're most beautiful. Up close, they are absolutely... I, I would piss my pants. <laughs> okay. Interesting. A dra dragon, I'll shit myself. That creature, I will piss myself. <laughs> so it's good to have designations for these things. Compartmentalized, you know? Yeah, I mean, see, giants and dragons don't get along. 
but dragons have flight and we don't. At least my people don't. The storm giants are fine. They can do whatever the fuck they want because they're just all powerful. I mean, I, I, I don't I don't wish to speak ill of the storm giants. King Hecaton is one of them. He is the leader. But still, they get to fly. We sit on the ground and just look pretty. I'd say you do considerably more than just look pretty. But, yeah, I get what you mean. That's the apparent disadvantage of being grounded. Correct. It is very, it is most upsetting for me, but it is okay. I get to hit shit on the ground, which I can deal yeah. with. And we hit him hard. Indeed. But, other than that small diversion, nothing else occurs during your rest. Um, and, uh, so your rest it seems. Your watch comes to an end. Uh, who's taking last watch? I, I let me take it, I think. Let them finish thinking, because I'm, I finished my meditation and I'm rested. Cool. So, once again, perception check. Straight. No. Seventeen. As you guys sit there, you keep watching the rock as it, as it finally flies off out of your view. And you see the sun rise over the mountains. And morning arrives. You all awaken. Mm -hmm. And that is where we will end today's session. Okay. Climbing up the mountain tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, next day, but yeah. <laughs> tomorrow, awesome. tomorrow. Uh, not bad, guys. Not bad. It's a good session. That's it. Yeah. You died. Yeah. What you died. <laughs> That's basically going to be at the end of every session now. Nobody died. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's every D&D &D session. Pretty much. <laughs> we good session, guys. Nobody died. We're good. Yep. Escape, <laughs> escaped yetis during our sleep. <laughs> yeah. As much as I want to like fight stuff, this hiding option is also quite nice. It 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 was nice that a good half of the session my health was bad. Yeah. <laughs> the first half was not great. Yeah. It's good. It's good. We're good. We're doing well. Yeah. Sorry. I said we're doing good so far. Yeah. I mean, it only ramps up from here. So, strap in, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be a gonna be a proper fight. But yeah, GG guys, catch you guys. Um, are we all good good for next week? Should be. Yeah. So far, so yeah, good. So. Okay, so let me know if, you, if if there are changes to the schedule. Do let me know. Yeah. Okay. As soon as you can, preferably. Yep. Uh, so once again, if one person can't make it, we're still gonna continue. Yep. yep. Otherwise, uh, if there's more than one missing, then of course we'll cancel the session. Yep. But uh, do let me know. G give me at least two days' notice. At least two days, so we can so I can at least you know. I can plan my Sundays otherwise. Yeah. True. 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 Cool. All right, guys. Catch you guys next week and tomorrow. You, next week, tomorrow it seems. Next week, you guys enter the eye of the All Father. It should be fun. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. All right. Catch you guys all next week. Great. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.